I'm excited for my new job because there's someone at my old job that just started that I super dislike. Um, so I'm really excited. Has anyone else had someone new started a job and you dislike them so much immediately that you're like amped for how much you're gonna hate them? Like, <laughs> like they introduce someone to the team and you like crack your knuckles like, oh my God, I can't wait to hate everything this person says. You're gonna suck. I can tell already. Oh my God. Can't wait to hate all of your emails. It's gonna be great. <laughs> like if you wear a suit to a job that doesn't require us to wear a suit, we're not gonna be friends. I hate you. I hate you already. What are you doing? Relax. Stop coming in so early. You're making it painfully obvious how late I am. Um, I don't like it. <laughs> My new job is super cool though. Uh, I did like, minus missing my cat, it's pretty awesome being back in an office, I don't hate it. Um, like it's fun getting to know new, new people. Uh, excited to pretend to hear new secrets for the first time again. Just like the same secret from nine to noon. <laughs> and me just swiveling around in a chair going, what? Like, I heard it for the first time, it's so nice. I don't know if anybody else works in the office, but there's a hierarchy to secrets like your real work best friend tells you you're the secret first at like nine, like key information. And you both are like, this is amazing. And then the second person is the person that thinks they're the first person. They're <laughs> the neediest person in your office that gives you cake for birthdays you don't care about. And they're just like, I have news. And you're like, no, you don't. Uh, <laughs> and then everyone afternoon just needs to go to the bathroom more, like get it together. Uh, <laughs> Um, but yeah, but like I've noticed a lot of things being back in the office. Uh, like we have two genderless bathrooms, so anybody can use whatever bathroom they want. And we have all silently and unanimously made one of them the shit bathroom. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it's so free. <freeing. laughs> It made me realize that's all we need now. Like, it doesn't matter. It's not men or women, it's just back hole. What are you doing with the back hole? That's all I really needed to know. Like, that should be the real divide. It'd just be a regular ass bathroom and the one that just says, give it a minute on the outside. Like, that's. <laughs> that's what I'm working towards. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. No, it is fun being in an office. Being in an office made me, uh, reminded me that sex work is real work. Because <laughs> um, they're doing that shit with their coworkers. Like, I don't know. We've all fully grasped that. Like, I started a new job, a guy took the last cinnamon bagel and I was like, I hate that dude forever. Like. You could do that on a porn set and that guy could like finish in your face later. Like I don't have, I don't have the capacity to be that professional. Like, just really made me think about it. Um, I got a new job to pay for my new apartment. It's pretty sick, uh, I'm excited. Uh, I got, I upgraded from a studio to a one bedroom. Uh, yeah, basically because I needed a wall between me and where my cat shits. That was <laughs> most of the motivation, if I'm being honest. Uh, like, I don't know if anybody else has tried to get dicked down while a cat's taking a live shit. <laughs> but it can be a real challenge. Uh, <laughs> Just to be like enjoying your time going down on someone and have the fear strike into your heart when you hear the chick 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 of a cat scratching in their litter box. You have to be like, dude, I'm exclusively breathing through my nose right now. Like, I thought we were friends. What the fuck? Like, oh man, it's pretty cool. Oh. Uh, I meant to say this earlier, uh, but like, I do feel like with like, uh, if people are allowed to speak freely as their ideas evolve about trans people, I should be allowed to speak more freely about all my friends from high school who married someone that looks exactly like them. What? <laughs> How am I not allowed to address that you're fucking someone that looks more like you than your brother? This is weird. <laughs> 
What familiar porn have you been watching? I don't like it. It's fraternal and freaky. Um, I'm so sorry, what was I really talking about? Um, no, I do like it. I have a cat, that's cool. I do feel like with everything that we've been going through with like people learning new information and taking new things in about the vaccine, we're not talking enough about what's happening with fake eyelashes. <laughs> Wildly unregulated things happening in this industry. I don't know if anybody else knows. I don't know if you've all heard about magnetic eyelashes. Yes, everyone literally put mercury in your eyes. What are you doing? Please stop using this. There's no way this not gonna be a class action in like five years. Like don't. I'm for sure gonna come home from a show and see a commercial that's like, if you use magnetic eyelashes between 2019 and 2020, like don't. <laughs> if you don't know what they are, it is where people are putting a strip of magnetic eyeliner above one of their most important organs. <laughs> and then you slap magnetic eyelashes on there and just live your day. Like, what are we doing? <laughs> this is super unsafe. First off, like, you know how you used to force the opposite ends of magnets together when you were little? <laughs> what if you get a little bit on your bottom lash and your eyes just don't close for the rest of the night? Like, what are you guys doing? <laughs> this seems mad risky. Like, I really don't think we've thought this through. <laughs> I'm concerned for multiple of my friends that are Instagram influencers. Like, what is going on? Uh, it's just an intensity that I know for a fact we do not need for fake eyelashes because I saw a beauty influencer test their strength by putting them on and then sitting on the front of a speedboat. <laughs> so the video starts and she's like, you guys. <laughs> Wait till you see how insanely strong these lashes are. <laughs> and then the boat starts. And she just lets it blow her eyeballs back at 50 MPH. Like, <laughs> That's the whole rest of the video. It's the dumbest thing I've ever seen anyone do on the internet. What are you doing? It's so unnecessary. Like, I know that that's not an intensity we need for fake eyelashes because... <laughs> If you're wake, wearing fake eyelashes to be on a boat, the boat shouldn't go that fast. Does that make sense to everyone? Like, I feel like this girl either doesn't understand that yachts are slow or she's overdressed for fishing. And either way, I'm super concerned about her decision making. Uh, yeah, that was awesome. You guys are great. Have a good night. Yeah.